the YEP ESC has some options you may want to change. There's a programming card that can be used to program the YEP ESC. However, you can also program your ESC using only the throttle. While the programming card gives you more options, programming using only the throttle may be all that you need. Figuring out how to do this can be very frustrating and this video will help. In this video we will cover two things. First, we will cover the sounds made by the ESC during normal startup. Then, we will cover programming the ESC using the throttle of your transmitter. During normal startup, the ESC makes a series of sounds. The first indicates that the ESC is receiving a signal from the receiver. The second sound indicates the number of battery cells the ESC has detected. And finally, the last sound indicates that the ESC is armed. Listen to the sound made by an ESC with three lithium batteries. Next we're going to talk about programming your ESC. To put the ESC in programming mode, we turn the transmitter on, fully advance the throttle, and fully advance the throttle trim tab. When we apply power to the ESC, it will give a series of beeps indicating that it's in programming mode, and then the confirmation two beeps. Here we go. Now it's confirmed that it's in programming mode. We retard the throttle. This will allow us to uh, have options as we cycle through. Now, the uh, options that we have that we can change are brake. We can say no brake or brake on. We can determine the battery type, timing, pulse, wave mode frequency, and the governor mode. These are all things that we can change and we'll show you how. As you'll notice, the ESC is cycling through uh, the options with a series of beeps. You can see these uh, options in the uh, vertical column. Once we figure out what we want to change, it's simply a matter of waiting until the number of beeps rotates back to the item that we want to change. So that's the uh, battery, the brake. Here's the battery type, timing. So let's uh, change the uh, brake. We'll turn the brake on. And so we choose brake, wait for the confirmation, and retard the throttle. Now, we get options depending upon uh, the, the mode that we're in. So for example, break, the top row you can see in our cheat sheet, has only two options, break off or break on. So let's turn the break on. Wait until we get two beeps, one. We choose it, wait for the confirmation, and off. That's chosen. Now we get the three beeps indicating the number of um, batteries in our startup sequence. It's gone through the startup sequence and we're ready. There's the break on. All right. So let's do that one more time. This time I don't like the break on, so let's try turn the break off. So again, Fully advanced throttle, the throttle tim trim tab. We apply power. Wait until it gets to programming mode. 
and then we accept that yes okay now we wait for the break mode yes we've chosen that okay now right now it says break is on we're going to wait until it cycles on off on off you'll notice that the very first um, uh, number of beeps that we get when we get into a mode is the the mode that's uh, stored presently so we want to turn the brake off so no brake on confirmed off that's the number of batteries that's the startup sequence we reduce the uh, throttle trim tab and no brake and that's it. I'm not going to cover what the different options mean. There are many excellent explanations online regarding these options and how they affect the ESC. And finally, although the user manual references something called soft start programming, I haven't been able to program the soft start on my ESC. I hope that this video has helped prevent hours of frustration. Thanks for watching.